Okay, so in this tutorial, we're gonna look specifically at how we can use the type and shape layers to create transparency um, with an image that we're working in in uh, Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing uh, we're gonna do is just type out some words um, over this image, and then we're gonna use that um, to create uh, transparency or to kind of put the image into the words if you like. And there's a couple of other cool effects we can do once we've done this, um, and we'll kind of run through those in a second. And then we'll have a look at the shape layer, which works in a similar sort of way. So we'll drag out a text box here. So I've selected the type tool on my left hand uh, toolbar here towards the bottom. Okay, and we'll just type in some words here or a word. Okay, and we're going to push the size of this up a little bit. Okay, until we get a nice decent size. Okay, now it doesn't really matter what the color of the type is here because we're actually going to put the image within that type. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is unlock the background layer so we can bring it above um, this layer here. So if we double click on our background layer, okay, um, we don't need to give this a name for the moment. Um, we're only going to have a couple of layers, so organizing is important, but it's not that important when we're dealing with uh, this smaller file. We can click OK, and then we can drag this layer up above our logs layer. Okay, now we're going to use something here called clipping masks. Um, the clipping mask basically copies the transparency of the layer below. And if we right click here, okay, and scroll down the menu that pops up, we get this option about part halfway down to create a clipping mask. Okay, and it will copy the transparency from the layer below. But you can see in our thumbnail here the original image is intact. So although it's transparent, we haven't cut out or removed parts of the image. Um, it's actually the entire image is still there. Okay. Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to duplicate um, this layer. So if we um, go to our little mini menu on the right hand side here and go to duplicate layer, and there's a couple of ways we can duplicate a layer, but this is one of them. Um, we'll click OK, and then we'll end up with two copies of that layer. The topmost copy that we're going to use, we're going to drag this below our original logs layer. So the image, in a sense, will be recreated. Okay, So we've still got the transparency from these two layers, but we've got another image um, of those same logs in exactly the same position, so what we see is the original image. Okay, let's click on the text layer and then come down to the bottom of our layers panel and open up the effects list here. We're going to turn on the drop shadow, okay, and as soon as you've done that, if preview is turned on for you on the right hand side here, um, then we should start to see an outline of uh, the words. Okay, if we push this up, increase the opacity a little bit and increase the spread of this then we should see a kind of nice uh, shadow that's just letting that word pop out there okay I want to show you one other technique that's quite nice um, in this particular instance and that is to actually add a, a layer adjustment or adjustment layer um, above this type here so we can kind of add to the effect so if we go to our adjustment layers again just two across from the FX, the little FX at the bottom of your screen. Click here and we'll go to hue and saturation. Okay. And before we change anything here, we're just going to right click and turn this straight away into a clipping mask. Okay. So we've got layers stacked on top of one another that are all using the transparency from the type layer that we're using. Okay. And you'll see now that if you move the hue, then only this image or the type. Um, starts to change. Okay, I'm going to check colorize here. Okay, we'll increase the saturation, and then you can see that actually what we're doing is changing the color but keeping the texture um, of that image behind. Okay, so we end up with uh, something like this. And let's just change that a little bit more, bring the hue saturation back up, and we'll just find a color that we're kind of happy with. Okay, that's been pretty nice. So um, we've got type layer, and then below that um, we have a drop shadow, and also the original image in the bottom of that that file. Okay, let's go to uh, File and Save, so we can save our project. Click OK, and that's our file saved. So the the way that we um, work with shape layers is very similar. Okay, so I'm going to make a copy of this uh, layer zero again. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key this time and just click and drag this up to the top and we'll make a copy of that layer. So you should see the original image 
when you do that. Okay, you can also go to duplicate layer and do it that way, um, but we've chosen to do it this way. And what we'll do is we'll grab um, from the bottom of our toolbar here one of the shapes. Okay, and we'll use an ellipse here. Okay, and what I think we'll do is we'll just grab one of the ends of these logs and we'll just draw an ellipse that kind of fits that shape roughly. Okay, and we'll use the move tool just to kind of tweak the, the position a little bit. Okay, now in order to copy the transparency um, from this ellipse, we need to drop it behind this copy of the layer that we made. So let's just drag this back, okay, and then turn on create clipping mask. And now if we just turn off these layers, so the layers associated with the type layer here, you can see that we've got a circular log turned on there and actually what we'll do is we'll add another hue saturation adjustment layer above that turn on colorize and we'll just change this color of this log okay just darken it a bit there okay so when we turn on the other layers you can see oh, we haven't turned on the clipping mask let's right click here and turned on the clipping mask, you can see that we've got the log in the same position over the type, but then we have this kind of transparency of that layer too. So let's just have a little look at that again. Okay, so the circle, the ellipse, and then the layers below, uh, the hue saturation, and then these layers. So they're all combining to kind of make this effect, but with the images in the same place. Okay, so that's a quick overview of how to use um, the Clipping Mask tool um, or the Clipping Mask function in the Layers panel. Um, and it's a really nice way of adding transparency um, because we haven't changed or affected those original images. And also because we get this nice effect of things being in the same place, but being able to change uh, the color of different parts of that image.